Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, I'll show you how to write some code to detect different type of browser. This can be uh, Google Chrome, uh, Firefox, um, Microsoft Edge, or even Internet Explorer. And now let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, let me just show you what we got on the browser. Uh, right here, you can see that saying as high right here and also right now we are running on the google chrome browser so the first one uh, the first step i'm going to do is to write some code to detect the uh, chrome browser so to do that i need to store saying that uh, is chrome window.chrome window.chrome again web store or window.chrome run time okay so this piece of code will detect the google chrome and now um, to show you if it's actually running then what i need to do just showing this so if it is true then i'll show it yes it is chrome if not otherwise let's say this one no just like that and now let's just go here and here it is you can see that it detect this as uh, saying this is as chrome but how do i know if it's actually working so i'll need to open this in the firefox and you will see the result okay so as you can see i have opened this in the firefox as well and right here the text is saying as no because this is not uh, the Chrome browser while right here this is saying it's us uh, the Chrome I can also refresh this page as well okay so now the next one I'll show you is to write the code for the Firefox for the Firefox this one is quite simple just saying it's Firefox type of install trigger is not equal to undefined and that is it so right here I need to so this is Chrome and this one I just say if this is um, the Firefox if not uh, things I don't know okay just like that and now let's check it out So this is Chrome right here saying this is as Firefox. So that's how we detect the Firefox. So how about the uh, Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge? Okay, next one is um, IE. Document, document mode. This is the one. Okay, so this is IE. Now let me just um, quickly do that as well. So if this is IE, then saying that this is as IE. But I just want to um, point out that this may not be working because let me just quickly show you here. Okay, so here you can see that we only get the title, but there's nothing showing right here. So the reason is that we have to uh, enable the a react application uh, to run on the uh, IE because this is uh, quite old so um, I'll do that in the future video but not in this video I just want to quickly show you what is the code to write to detect the IE browser and another one is the uh, the edge so if this is uh, if it's edge then if it is not IE not IE and it is the window start media so this is the code to detect the uh, the edge but the thing is that this is no longer working because um the edge has been updated to the latest browser but there's a solution to um, this one as well okay so um i'll show you one library uh, so that we can just detect any type of browsers uh, that you can think of like um, safari or even the um, Opera browser or the IE or the Edge. So let me just um, quickly show you that one. 
Okay, so this package is called Bowser. It is small and fast, um, rich API engine to detect the uh, both browser and also Node. So um, I'll just uh, quickly install this library. Okay, while this is installing, let's just take a look at this one. So we need to import it uh, using, I'm going to use this one, the ES6. And this is some other code like this one right here. Bowser and we're going to show it. Okay, so um, let me now copy this one. It has been installed. Let me just import it right here. And down here, it's going to be this one. Just paste it right there and the browser now we have um, declared this and I'm going to comment this one out right here saying you are using browser dot pass result dot browser dot name Okay, this should be good to go. And take a look here. Okay, so here it is. Uh, saying asked, you are using the Chrome. And how about the other one? Let's just check this one. You're using Firefox. And I eat, it's not working at the moment. That's fine. How about this one, the Edge, Microsoft Edge? And here it is. So you are using the Microsoft Edge. And this one is working. I just need to have like a space right here. And also, um, I want to know uh, the version as well. So what the version, just saying this as V. And it's going to be the same thing up until here. So instead of saying this as name, I'm going to say this as versions and doing the same thing again plus the other one can be the i want to know uh, whether it's running on the um on mac or it's running on window then uh, i can do that as well so right here it's running on the same thing um, it can be the this time it's not browser but instead it syncs as os so now we have the uh, you are using the browser version and right here, whether it's running on Windows or it's running on Mac or other type of the uh, uh, operating systems. Okay, so here it is. Um, you are using Chrome. This is the version I'm running on and it's running on the uh, Windows. And what about the Firefox right here? Running on the version 81 on Windows as well. And now let's take a look at the age. So I'm using the H. This is the version running on the uh, Windows, and you can see that it's uh, actually quite easy to use with this uh, library. And I, because right now I'm running on the Windows, so that is the reason why I can't show you on the um, Safari. And I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. So uh, this code we learn how to write the code from scratch uh, how to detect uh, different type of the uh, browser including this time uh, the Chrome the Firefox and the edge this one I, I'm, I'm sure that this is working uh, but we just need to enable to run the react application inside the um, the uh, Internet Explorer and this code this is no longer working so uh, just ignore this one and uh, we have also learned how to install this uh, Bowser uh, to detect the different type of the browser, the name, the version, and also the OS as well. So this is quite useful just in case things like you are running on uh, some of your user actually they are still using the uh, Internet Explorer then you can detect that and because um, some of the JavaScript function like the modern functions uh, Some of them may not be actually working in the older browser So that's a reason why you can say it's like a text that this is working best inside 
uh, say like the Chrome or uh, Firefox, but not actually inside the Internet Explorer because it is uh, it's too old to use for the time being. Okay, so I just quickly show you uh, on the Apple, and you can see when I run this inside the uh, Internet Explorer, I just want to quickly show you like the real world uh, scenario. <laughs> So um, right here, you can see that it's looking quite weird. So then when I click on the shop button, uh, you can see that it's saying like uh, we have to upgrade the browser to actually buy it from the apple.com. And it's saying like take something like this, uh, please download the latest version of Chrome, Firefox or Microsoft Edge to be able to run this or to buy from this uh, website. And that's uh, how we can actually use it um, to detect different type of browser and in case this is actually true then we can just show like a text uh, just as in this case you can see here so um, I think that's it guys uh, if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below otherwise see you guys in the next video